hi peaches and welcome back to my channel you know what time it is it is a another try on haul today i went to two different stores lululemon and then later we go to a notoriously terrible company you'll see which one it is i had to get a little video of my bum because these mirrors are excellent for showing all angles the first thing I tried on is this gray bra, sports bra, and leggings. They are obviously matching. I really love the color gray on me. I know some people think it's kind of depressing or just like a sad looking color, but I think gray looks really lovely on me. The top I definitely liked better than the bottoms. I don't know why, but Lululemon leggings just don't hit the same like they used to just my opinion it's my opinion but yeah i i don't think they look good on me maybe my body's changed a little bit so they they just don't <laughs> flatter me the same way because my body isn't as flattering <laughs> the bra was cute though i would probably size down in it though then we get to this little tennis dress and oh my goodness, I love the asymmetry of it. I found it so flattering. The only negative thing about it is the fact that I um, would not be able to play tennis in it without another bra because I would be bouncing all over the place running to and fro on the court. The color, I'm not a fan of pastel blue on me. Um, it's not the worst color. I used to think pastel blue is absolutely horrible, but it's just not one of my wow colors. Now, this sports bra definitely helped heal my inner teenager because I used to go to Lululemon and not be able to fit their bras well and they had really cute like low impact sports bras so trying this one on made me so happy the same issue with these kind of red leggings to the gray ones also obviously you didn't pass the bounce test in it but that's okay these bras are made for c cups at max so the fact that i could even pull this off was great anyways though the problem with the leggings is they're just not flattering on the bum in my opinion unless you're just like really tiny i would definitely suggest staying away from lululemon leggings these biker shorts were definitely so meh they were like i think 70 something dollars maybe even 90 and honestly you could find the same things for so much cheaper I definitely was not impressed with the shorts, <laughs> but that is okay because, um, I mean, they still looked cute. Biker shorts are definitely a little bit of a moment, if you know what I mean. These next leggings, I was very confused on. These are the jogger style, and I felt they were a weird in-between of being too tight and too loose all at once. Yeah, I definitely felt some kind of weird way about them. They were flattering on the butt, but the front, I don't know, I think they made my legs kind of look like weird sausages. Again, I am just completely, completely obsessed with this sports bra. So cute, so fun. Now I try on this more matching sports bra. It was also a low impact one. I really loved it. It was a little too small for me, unfortunately, which you'll see shortly. I just lift the top up a little bit and they did that on their own, just kind of fallen out. I try to show you the back a little bit, but it was hard because I couldn't figure out how to use these mirrors to my advantage. The back was just these cute strings though just holding me up 
and yeah again my inner young woman my inner teenager is totally healed honestly by being able to wear these bras thank god for plastic surgery <laughs> and as you can see the bum here actually utilized the triangle bottoms anyways now guess what store i went into this time this is none other than brandy melvo loved this shirt had to try it on i was confused by this because matthew's band like dave matthews i was so confused this was the girls invented punk rock and obviously girls didn't invent punk rock but they were completely foundational in my opinion in punk rock think of people like patty smith if she's not punk rock i don't know who is i definitely had to buy it even though it was a little too small for me so as you can see this dress was also too small for me if you're not aware brandy melville is a one size fits most store it typically fits honestly like a size 10 or less in their shirts and dresses and in their pants like a four so i didn't even try to attempt that because i didn't want to make myself feel bad today the ceo has basically been on record by saying that he doesn't want fat women in his clothes which i think is really gross and dumb these dresses were really cute definitely would have to wear Spanx with them honestly but yeah I don't know the issue with these tight dresses is the stomach fat but oh my goodness they make my breasts and my bum look fantastic I definitely felt out of all of these the black one of course was the most flattering it was probably the most slimming these definitely gave off 90s vibes very rachel from friends i don't know i could imagine her in one of these little dresses but yeah i really need to buy myself some spanx maybe i should look into skims by kim k i've heard kind of mixed reviews on them but maybe i could try them out for a video now this dress i think was the most flattering and if i was gonna buy a dress from brandy malville this would have been it i didn't like it enough to buy i'm glad i had my sports bra with me because the dress was made actually to just wear not with a bra which is crazy to me maybe i didn't tie it right i'm definitely bad at tying anyways peaches that's it love you bye